You're welcome back to the final lap of our conversation on The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. The venue of the UEFA Champions League final has been moved due to COVID-19 concerns. And there's a debate about a possible postponement of the Olympic Games. Now, back here in Nigeria, sports authorities are putting in the required protocol to avoid a spread of COVID-19. Or maybe it's the clubs that aren't doing much. Most footballers in the Nigeria Premier League have not been vaccinated and stadiums have not been fumigated and checks and players have reportedly been stopped. We have Plus TV Africa's sports presenter, Wally Scott, here with us to talk about this. Good morning, Wally Scott. Good morning, Aneza. So there's, there's like two conversations we're having here, the moving of the venue and uh, we're talking about the standards regarding COVID-19 pandemic, the protocols being put in place. Why do you think... Um, it is what it is right now. The moving of the venue is just um, an example of how seriously COVID-19 has been taken in other climbs, the SENA climbs, that mm -hmm. is. You know, um, um, you move an event from Turkey, Istanbul, Turkey, to the Estadio de Grau in Porto, Portugal, just because of COVID-19. Because the fans are saying we can't risk going to Turkey, considering the fact that it's, going, it's skyrocketing in Turkey there. So we're not going there. So it's okay, good. Come somewhere in Europe and UK. Now, just this morning, three... 371,000 people have signed a petition, submitted to, to, to a mayor in Tokyo, saying they should cancel the Olympics totally. Submitted this morning by a lawyer. Because of health concerns. COVID-19 concerns. In, in Japan, is, China is, is skyrocketing like every day. But this is a Nigerian system where our league is supposedly going on. None of our players have been vaccinated. Um, the COVID-19 checks aren't done. Nobody's in a bubble. Um, we claim that we don't have fans there, but that's a lie because I can conveniently say, I don't know about other states, but in Lagos State, Agege precisely, and Unikwan, and um, um, in Suleri, where MFM plays, I know the guys in the area, in Suleri area and Aegi area, always throng the field and they're always there in their numbers and not like, nothing like COVID 19 tests. And I stopped, I refuse to stop reporting any match in, in Lagos because these guys are vaccinated. Nobody's in the bubble. Nobody's been tested. That's a risk for me. Even a nose mask might not just save the situation for me. You know, so the truth be said, um, I think um, the management should be blamed now at this point. Well, can I, talking about the management, uh, apologies, Wally Scott, who should be responsible for vaccinating the players? Should it be the football body or the players taking responsibilities for their own health? No, there's, a, there's, a, there's a body called the League Management Company. It's called the LMC. Mm -hmm. And their job is to give them, um, I've always called them a barking dog. It doesn't bite. It does bark. You know, and initially when the LMC first came in, there were rules and regulations. You must have a particular amount in your account as a team. You must play your players regularly, pay them their salaries. When, as and when due, they don't do anything about it. These, these guys don't pay. We see play and players protesting like, like every other day, and the LMC do nothing about it. The LMC have said yes. You must get vaccinated. Everybody in your, your team must vaccinate. The coaches, the managerial crew, um, the teams. Nobody's vaccinated. I mean, no, who's taking not, responsibility not, for that? No, I mean, who but, should be doing that? The LMC will tell the clubs to actually ensure these things are done. But, but how do they but, check it? But we, I think, let's not act like uh, uh, vaccines are sold in supermarkets and you could just buy one. Nigeria had a specific number of vaccine, vaccines that were uh, provided for the country. Uh, there were there are specific people that were you know, supposed to, to get vaccines. Sports players um, were not part of the list that were um, yeah, uh, meant to be vaccinated. Elderly people, um, um, uh, frontline workers, uh, government officials, I believe. But sportsmen were, were I know, not. I, 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 know I, I know for one that I can, I can speak for that, mm -hmm. that um, Aisha Falude, who is the head of the Nigerian Women's Premier League, insisted that most teams must get vaccinated or at least or at least from where sorry or at least follow covid-19 protocols now i don't know if the players the women players have been vaccinated but i am luck uh, well i was lucky to have actually covered about two or three women matches and um, except for when they were going to the field, they had their nose masks on, they were being checked on a, on a steady. When you're going to the field, they are going out, as in the protocols were being followed mm -hmm. in most Nigerian women football leagues. Yeah. Which means that uh, for some reasons, like I said, let's go back to the management again. Aisha Falodi was able to ensure sanity in the Women's Premier League, ensuring that, listen, these protocols are followed. Maybe, maybe the vaccine's not taken, but at least protocol was followed. In the Nigerian male Premier League, is like a carnival. It's like everybody, come one, come all. 
everybody around who is around the stadium can just walk in and watch the match. And, and this is in contrast to the rest of Africa. We know that countries like Kenya, Ghana, they basically shut down all sports activities. Yes, it shut down for a long while. And um, when they did come back, um, the protocols have been taken very seriously. Now, surprisingly, not surprisingly, um, the best football structures in Africa are in the North African parts of the, of, of the continent. And um, they are following the protocols to the tilt. And um, I even heard that to a large extent in North African countries, um, sports, football, every league going on had a particular percentage of vaccination, um, which means that I mean, if the cricket league is going on, you get a percentage, football league is going on. And I, I, I don't think that happened in Nigeria. However, the protocols will at least be followed if you can't get your vac vaccines yet. Mm. But in Nigeria, it's a different, different ball game. Oh, wow. Um, let's hope that we at least continue testing. You, know, you actually go to the, to, the, to, the, to the stadiums across Nigeria and you're asking yourself, does COVID exist in this part of town? Really? Yeah. Like I said, I hope that we at least continue testing if we can get everyone vaccinated. And, um, you know, we of course have lapses in making sure that everyone follows COVID-19 protocols. And at least let's test all the players um, regularly to ensure that they and anybody, anybody who is infected, you know, can be pulled out of, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. of the space. Anyway, thank you uh, to uh, Wally Scott for thank joining you. us Thanks this morning again. on thank a Friday. Uh, we want to wish everyone a very beautiful weekend ahead. Thank you for being with us all through the week. Um, every single detail of our conversations always gets to our social media platforms at Plus TV Africa. So you can always catch up um, on Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook, and our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa also. And uh, Netta always mentions at Plus TV Lifestyle. Africa Lifestyle. Um, Africa lifestyle. <laughs> um, it's a, a new uh, YouTube channel. Thanks once again. I am Osaogi Ogmoha. And I am Aneta Felix saying bye bye.